Hi everyone, I'm Sophia from Mommy's Little Sugar Cookies by Sophia. And you just thought it would be nice if we just made a little tutorial to help you with the process when you receive your royal transfer tray. So you wanna start by opening your template. Um, the template will be emailed to you, the royal transfer tray. I have the template opened here already. You wanna make sure all of your images, whatever you're printing, how big or small, that it stays within the blue box. Um, and I'll explain to you why in a bit. You drop your images in as you would anytime you're using Bartender to print with your Eddie. And so I chose a couple different Christmas designs. And the really cool thing about this is that you're not limited to one design per, if you're doing a cookie class for the holidays, I know a lot of people do those at this time. You can get multiple little uh, transfers made at once. So I'm gonna print, before you print, just make sure Eddie is on manual mode. Um, you wanna make sure you unplug your carousel, so unplug it from the back. Um, so I am in manual mode. And an important thing is to change your properties. So I am on quality one fast. I took my color matching off and I brought my ink saturation down to 25. Honestly, this is going to be up to you. Some may want it to appear more clear when they're making their transfer, but this has worked for me and this is what I've been using. It also allows you to use less ink when you're uh, printing on your tray and it also allows for less bleeding after you've printed because it's not so much color and ink being used. So once you go ahead and change your settings, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit print. Okay. So the tray has a groove for the tongue. So you obviously you can only put it on one way and you're gonna put it on. When you're in manual mode, the machine kind of has to do its thing first. So you wanna let it take it in and out. Right now it's blinking because it's ready for me to hit print. So it sits securely on there. I'm going to hit my load button and it should print the images. So even though the saturation's light, you can still make out your image. Okay, so I've allowed it to dry for a little bit. It, it doesn't take long, but just enough. It's like anything else. When we write with permanent marker, we like to let it sit a little bit before we touch it, just so it let it set in. So I'm going to add my food safe sheet. Now, a lot of you in the pictures that I posted, I did use a clear uh, sheet. It is unknown at the time exactly how food safe that is. So I just went ahead and instead cut out these food safe sheets. And just to show you, even though they're frosted, like a lot of our cookie stencils are, or even like when we use parchment paper, even though it's frosted, you can still see your image come through really nicely. And these definitely say on the packaging that they're food safe. We just like to make sure that we're using products that are safe for our customers. So as you can see, the sheet right here, and put your frame over it. You can still make it out really clearly. This frame is the reason why we have the blue line on our image. So you want to make sure that when you add your frame, because this whole piece will go back onto the eddy when you go to print directly onto your dried icing, too close to the edge, it might just spray on the frame. So we just wanted to make sure that wherever you were placing your images, you were placing it within the box. I've been using about 45 second icing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just trace it. Now, I prefer to try to stay in a little bit, try not to go too far outside the line, just because if you do, you'll end up seeing more of the white when you, uh, spray later so I'll show you that when we actually when I actually print on these okay so I finished flooding most of us with parchment paper the tape would move any of our little clips that we'd have to, with magnets or whatever to try to keep things in place they would move it would bunch that's not the situation so I'm leaving it for about 30 minutes and then I can print on it once it's dry after um 30 minutes or so. But again, that's everyone's preference. Everyone has their own way of doing things. I always say what works for you, you know, stick to it. But this is what I've done. And I just figured I would share some of my tips. So I finished my royal icing. Now, it depends on your comfort, right? And how comfortable you feel with it. But you do have the option of removing this now. 
And if you are gonna remove it to make more, I would recommend removing it while it's still a little wet, just because we all know how royal icing is. It's very moody. So if you're gonna remove it, you might just wanna make sure you have an area you can keep it flat because you really don't wanna bend it around too, too much. But if you can see, it just kind of stays flat. And then when you bring it back later, and I don't know if I necessarily, if I did take this off, if I would necessarily then bring it back in 30 minutes, I might wait a little bit longer just because you wouldn't want it to crack. But again, something you can test out, it's just another tip. So now I can add another sheet and I can do um, the same thing and make multiple at the same time. And I actually did put these in front of the fan. It doesn't seem to be moving, I guess, the weight of the royal icing. And I, I just have this other one drying. I'm not gonna bother moving it, but just to show you, that you can kind of multitask like this and make multiple ones. That's another thing too, and I, I should have stated that earlier, just make sure before you print, before you close out Bartender, you have saved that image. Because if you move it in the slightest, you will not have it line up the same way. The tray should match your screen. So if you adjust your image, if I come back over here to my computer, um, I have it saved, so I'm just gonna hit save again so it doesn't mess me up. Um, but if I did this to it and I just decided, well, I can move it off, I guess it would print there. But if I move that, obviously, it's not going to print the same way. You just wanna make sure that you've saved this image. So if you wanna work on a different image for later or you're working on other sets of cookies that you're gonna be printing on with our friend Eddie, you're gonna wanna make sure that you saved your image for later. It's been 30 minutes. Um, I don't know how many of you use fans when you dry things. That's why I happen to have a fan uh, nearby. You don't have to have a fan to dry them off. I just use it to kind of help speed up the process. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Royal Transfer tray and I'm going to get ready to print. So I'm still in manual mode. I'm going to print, but now I'm going to go into my properties. And I'm going to make sure that I change my, um, my, my settings. So I like to do quality for best. I know everybody uh, has a preference and I don't, again, this is all preference. So I'm just gonna switch it to uh, Vivid Graphics and I'm just gonna go with a 60, okay? This part here, however you change your settings is your preference. So I just change this to this. It does not have to be in these settings. This is just what I normally use. So I'm just gonna go ahead with it. And I'm going to hit print. I usually let him do whatever it is he's gotta do first. And then I place my uh, tray on. So it has to match up. I'm gonna place it right on there, make sure it's lined up. And my button. Okay, so here you go. Ooh, I think maybe the saturation, I probably could have lowered it a bit because it came out pretty bright. But just so you can see here, just an example, how I said I stayed within the lines. So you see less white. Now this Santa is supposed to have a little ball, but the way I'm gonna use him, I'm gonna add it after the fact, give it like a nice little 3D. But um, you can see here it kind of came out a little bit further. So you have a little bit more white on the stocking but on the trees, prints, you know, um, pretty accurately right on. And now I would just let them dry for however long you need them to dry so that they won't break and they should be able to pop off. But what I do want to do is show you, I'll take it off carefully. I don't want that to hit. And I would just, uh, just carefully make sure you said so you can slide it somewhere and we're going to let that sit there to dry. This isn't smeared. So carefully, it's it's pretty sturdy. Just, you know, you just wanna handle it with a delicate hands. I just wanna show you that if you line it right back up, just make sure this is lined up and clip it. It's the same process. Just to give you an idea of what it's like, what happened after I moved it and put it back on, just to show that you can multitask that way if you were looking to make multiple um, transfers at the same time using the same uh, image. And there you have it. I was able to line it back up. Like I said, these sheets are frosted, but as you can see, 
I was able to um, place it right over there. I didn't have a hard time seeing my image. Obviously, this is just some of the overspray, so I'm probably gonna end up lowering my saturation. This new red, guys, how awesome. I'm just gonna leave them there to dry for a bit, and then um, we'll check on them later. All right, so I'm gonna remove. So, smeared a bit, but this has been 24 hours. I haven't removed any um, since uh, yesterday. I just kind of let them dry. I didn't really have a need for them. Um, so this is what I mean, how it can smear. Um, obviously yesterday when I was pulling it on and off, I don't know if it was just from, you know, it's sitting there all day, but I just wanna show you how easy these pop off. Um, I always wear a glove, but I'm not gonna do this for right now because these are just for maybe use, just for practice. They pop off really, really easily. And oh, I, broke, I broke that one, but that was me putting pressure on it. So obviously it's like anything else, you wanna treat it with extra care so they don't pop off and break, but, and I'll continue to pop those off. But I wanna show you how smooth this um, back is, which is really nice. It's just like anything else, you just wanna be gentle, removing them just to make sure uh, you get them all one piece. Some of them kind of pop off a little bit easier than others, but for the most part, you get the idea of how simple it is for them to uh, pop off. Obviously, like see here, I had a little fragile piece. It's like anything else when we work with royal icing, but it's still usable. So now I'm gonna rinse this off. All right, so I'm I'm not gonna use like really hot water. It's like anything else with stencil paper. Just to show you, I'm not even using soap. I'm just kind of rinsing it. And I mean, it came right off. Well, I use these to dry my stuff. I mean, I sometimes I'll lay them flat if I don't have space on my um, on my rack. I got this set Bed Bath & Beyond. It's actually a baby bottle uh, dryer, but I really like, and this one had been sitting from overnight, so. But laying it flat or keeping it straight. You just want to make sure you don't leave it anywhere where it's going to bend. It's been 24 hours, so I'm going to rinse this off. So I just want to kind of show you that it does leave some behind. But I've just been using some soap, soapy water, and just give it a nice little scrub. Again, not too hot. My water is just like a nice lukewarm, and you don't want to warp it. And I just want to show you. It's been 24 hours since I've... Um, done anything with this and it's a little wet but it came off I'm gonna leave it to dry I hope is it lasts quite a while and obviously they have other cleaners that you can probably use if you really needed to get something off um, but just to show you after 24 hours I was able to rinse that right off use a little soapy water and now it's ready for my next print after it dries I hope everyone found this tutorial helpful and just really appreciate your purchase of the Royal Transfer tray. And if you have any questions or concerns at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I just really appreciate it and happy printing.